My pleasure. Thank you. Immigration, of course, was one of the decisive issues, maybe the decisive issue in the last presidential election. What does the caravan mean, if anything, for the 2018 midterms 13 days from now? Dana Prina hosts the Daily Briefing. She served as press secretary for President George W. Bush. She's seen this topic emerge and evolve, and she thinks deeply about all this stuff all the time, and she joins <laughs> us now. So does this, Dana, I mean, I can't exactly tell where this is going or if maybe Republicans are overstating its effect or understating it. I mean, what effect is this going to have, do you think? Well, it's possible that Republicans are overstating this issue and understating health care. But the truth, that right. could also be said for Democrats, that they're overstating health care and underreporting on uh, immigration. Look, I think for, if you just look at the Senate, um, the red state Democrats that are running for re-election, this is not good news for them. Claire McCaskill right. and Joe Donnelly in particular, Missouri and Indiana. These are states that President Trump won by over 20 points. Immigration was one of their number one issues for those voters. So this issue being talked about in the last two weeks before the midterm election, which is very close anyway, that's probably not good news for them. Conventional wisdom in Washington, D.C. would say that it's not good for Republicans to talk about immigration in the way that you, you and Chris Kobach were just talking about. However, look at some of the purple states. Dean Heller in Nevada, the incumbent there, the most vulnerable uh, Senate Republican running for re-election, he has opened up a six-point lead in Nevada. Martha McSally in Arizona now has a lead over her opponent there. So the Democrats really want to focus on and talk about health care. And they could be right. On election night, they, that could be the main reason that people come out to vote. But this immigration issue with all of these visuals, it's not like it isn't happening. Getting the word out, Republicans getting the word out, could have a difference in, in these, some of these coin flip districts as well. I've always thought that Republicans lied to themselves with the popularity of universal health care. People actually want their health care taken care of, whether they should or not. That's but if you're taking that position, which is the Democratic position, how do you square that with your immigration views? Letting in tens of millions of more people who also get that health care, doesn't that dilute the promise of the government? I mean, like, how could you yes. pay for that? Well, they don't, that's not of their concern. <laughs> that is okay. something that Republicans have to worry about later on, and then they try to fix it, and they're the, then they're the mean ones that have to deal with it. I was also thinking of it in another way, because you talked about reasonable people on immigration. I'd like to yeah. think that, you know, I would... Most people say she's probably one of them. I have a real soft spot for refugees, the refugees who are being persecuted by their governments, hounded by their governments, um, basically treat, treated terribly, um, sometimes kidnapped, sometimes targeted for murder for their political beliefs. That is not what's happening here. No. The best way to deal for, with economic migrants is to actually practice capitalism in those countries. That is what's made this country strong. I'm for helping them in that way, but I feel like Democrats are missing the picture. I would like to have more refugees, actual refugees, be allowed into this country. But if you allow economic migrants into the country and they take up those spaces, you're actually hurting the very no, ideals right. that our country was founded on. This level of lying is making us all cynical, including me. I'm trying to fight it, but it's, it's having that. You're effect. never cynical. <laughs> I'm trying. Dana, it's great to see you, and thank you thank for you. your measured and thoughtful analysis, as always. <laughs> see you soon. Several Russia investigations have failed so far to prove that Trump got elected because of Putin. But the Democrats are promising to launch another investigation if they retake Congress. Alan Dershowitz does not think that's a particularly good plan. He's here next to explain why. We're also monitoring the president's rally in Wisconsin for news. There may be some. If there is, we'll bring it to you immediately. Here's what the president just said about today's bomb scares across the country. Watch. Visuars can do more than just make you see great. The right pair of glasses can make you look amazing, too. Get two complete pairs of single vision glasses for $49 or two progressives for $8.